JFL Williams, videos. Using the iOS 9 photo editor, in this video you can follow me through an edit of an image that was captured during a FaceTime call. We will edit this image to obtain a close-up of one of the two subjects. To get started we will select photos from the home screen. Next, locate and select the image. As a matter of preference, the editor of this video, JFL Williams, prefers to edit in landscape mode. So the phone will be turned 90 degrees to the left for easier editing. Next select edit, and the image will now be displayed in the iOS 9 editor. On the right side of the editor, there are three icons. The Smart Composition Tools, the Photo Filters and Editing Tools, and Smart Adjustments. To the left, you will see the Magic Wand and the Red Eye Removal. Selecting the Magic Wand will apply automatic photo edits to make your image look its best based on the image lightness, darkness and color saturation. The Red Eye tool is used to help eliminate any red eye or shine that was produced in the subject size by a flash or other light source. In our case, we simply want to do a simple edit, so we will select the Smart Composition tool. The display now shows the image box and grid, with an angle indicator on the right. We will next zoom in and center the portion of the image that we want inside the box by using the two finger swipe to zoom, and single finger swipe to move. Next, we will adjust the angle of the image by using the angle indicator. If we should lose the perspective of these activities, we can simply press reset to go back to the original image. With a few more screen touch adjustments, we are now satisfied with our placement. By reselecting the Smart Composition tool, we can now see the full adjusted image. We can now check to see if there are any additional adjustments that we can make to enhance our photo image. Select the Photo Filters and Editing tool, just to the right of our image, or a selection of preset image filters. We can go through the selections and try any which we think may enhance our composition. In this case, we have not, so by going back to the top we can select None, and return to our original picture. We will next select Smart Adjustments. We now have three pull-down menus for light, color, and black and white. Selecting light, we can move the slider up and down and change the exposure of our image. By selecting the light menu, there is now a display of a variety of light-related adjustments that we can make. We will now explore shadows and contrast. Now we are satisfied with these adjustments, we can again select the Smart Adjustment icon, a few more adjustments, and I now can select Done. The image is now ready to share or remain in my photo collection. Just a reminder, the image quality and sharpness are dependent on its source. In this walkthrough, the image is a screenshot of a FaceTime call, which produced a low quality image. A higher quality image would have responded more dramatically to our edits. Enjoy, and share your best. J.F.L. Williams Videos